Hello everybody and welcome back to Teachers Talk Money where I help teachers master their money in order to give back to themselves. Today we're going to be talking about my net worth for September 2021, my first month back at work after taking off for the entire summer. If you watched my previous two net worth updates, you saw that my uh, net worth drastically decreased for both July and August as I was not taking in, in any income and I had a couple of really big life changes including getting a new to me car and moving apartments and traveling as well. So I'm excited to have my income once again and be able to make moves with my net worth. That being said, I am only working with one full paycheck this month so far and then I got one that was worth about half of a normal paycheck and did not have my deductions going to my 457 or anything like that. So all that being said, let's get into my numbers for 2021. So first let's talk about my investment accounts, which are really my main focus with my finances now that I have a pretty good savings cushion under me as somebody who has been working and focusing on their finances for the last three and a half years. The first account we're gonna take a look at is my Roth IRA. And this is currently valued at $17,544, which decreased $33 from last month. If you've been following along, you know that I have maxed out my Roth IRA for 2021. I've already uh, contributed $6,000 and I cannot contribute any more. And so this loss was entirely just based on stock market fluctuations, which are pretty normal and to be expected. And I actually saw a little bit of that in my other investment account as well. So while an IRA is an individual retirement account that I have on my own, I also have an employer-sponsored retirement plan through my district. And I use the 457B rather than the 403B, which I will link a video down below explaining the difference between those. And my 457 is currently valued at $13,041 for a total change of $415. So that did go up this month. However, I contributed out of my first full paycheck, $478. So while the value of the account increased, I did passively see a loss of $63. Again, it just doesn't seem to be a very good month in the market so far at the time that I'm capturing these numbers, but that's all right. My contributions more than made up for that this month. Then we have my pension, and if you've been following me for a bit, you know that I don't uh, include all of the interest that my pension has earned. I only track the contributions because if I were to leave my job tomorrow, that's all I would have access to. However, at 10 years of service, my pension vests, um, meaning for my district that I will be able to withdraw the contributions and the interest. So when I get to that point in time, uh, I will actually include all of that interest in my net worth updates as well. But for now, I'm just including exactly what I've contributed. Because my income has increased this year, my contributions to this have as well. So now I'm contributing $209 per paycheck to this which brings my total for my pension up to $11,031. Then we have my supplemental pension, which only updates once a year. It's at 798 and it will be there until it updates again in June or July next year. Now let's get into my savings. My first and biggest savings account is my emergency fund, which is currently totaled at $5,039 and it just grew $2 in interest as it tends to. As always, I'm feeling incredibly grateful that I've not had to touch my emergency fund for any emergency costs so far, and so it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do and just sitting there ready for me to use when inevitably I do need to tap into it. And then finally, we have all my other savings accounts. This includes my travel fund, my gift fund, my grad school savings, my car fund, uh, my summer money fund and all of that good stuff and right now those are valued at $2,003 for a total change from last month of $469. I'm actually kind of surprised by this because I spent so much money out of these accounts on um, grad school classes 
I am going for my plus 30 hopefully by the end of this year 2021 um, meaning that in the latter half of the school year when the spring semester starts I will actually have I will actually be at the next uh, lean on the salary scale so fingers crossed uh, but I did have to put up a lot of money up front in order to get there so I'm glad that despite spending a ton of money on grad school classes out of those savings accounts, I still saw a little bit of an increase here as well. So let's look at all the totals together and see my entire net worth. Right now, everything together totals up to $49,456, just shy of that 50K benchmark um, that I had surpassed actually months earlier before living over on my savings over the summer and all that. Uh, but still, that being said, it's a monthly change of $1,062, and that is, of course, phenomenal. I'm very happy about that number. Last September, when I was coming off of the summer months, living off of my savings, and um, not getting full paychecks, right? In September, we usually get like a half paycheck and then a full one. My net worth grew last year that month by about $900. So this is smaller than the growth I would see in a month when I'm in a typical month when I'm working and getting that income. But based off of my stats that I have from last year, it's actually pretty good. This brings my year to date change to $13,291 since the beginning of 2021, which I am honestly pretty happy about. So speaking of the year by year change, I actually have the data on my net worth from the past three years starting this month because September 2019 was actually the first month that I cons like started consistently tracking my net worth. And at that time it was $11,311. Um, keep in mind that was a year after I started working so that was after having paid off all of that student loan debt and sort of built up savings and invested a teeny tiny bit at that point. In September 2020, it grew to $30,319. So a total change of almost $20,000, which is a huge amount to come out of my mouth right now. And then this year, it's at almost 50,000. It's, it's growing at a very consistent rate. Growing 20,000 per year is really, really awesome. I'm really excited about those numbers. That being said, I am excited to see that rate start increasing as the years goes up, go on as well and as I am more heavily invested with this money that's in my net worth versus having a majority of it in savings. So I'm excited to see what that brings when we come back again next year and take a look. So now let's take a look at my passive income report. This is something I've been doing with each and every net worth update to see how much my investments have actually been earning me um, throughout the whole year and month to month. And I do this for my own benefit, but also to show you how much investing really can accelerate your net worth growth without you having to do more than just sort of investing early and consistently. So you can see all the numbers here, despite the fact that I lost about $100 in the market this month, my year to date passive income from my investments is $3,310, which is a pretty significant amount. I mean, if you can think of like essentially giving yourself that much money in a raise, but having it invested already on your behalf to go towards future interest building, it's pretty wonderful to think about the fact that that's over $3,000 that is now going to grow its own interest that I didn't have to invest myself. I don't know if that's just me, but that is a really, really exciting thing. Really, really exciting opportunity. Now let's take a look at my favorite part of these net worth updates, which is the graph that visually shows us where I have been with my net worth and the rate that it increases by and where I'm headed. So we had a huge, huge dip this summer, of course, as I said, I was living off of my savings. I had an expensive move, I got another used car, I dipped into my travel fund for trips and things like that. And so it had a huge impact on my net worth. 
And now where we're at this month is that there's a little bit of an increase and it, we're starting the path to recovering where my net worth was before um, I had gotten to that lower point. You can also see the dip from last summer and how it took me a couple of months to recover from there too. So hopefully we'll probably see about the same rate of recovery of my net worth. Um, but who knows that you really never know what the future has in store. So all of these numbers, you know, now that I have put them out there, I can do a little bit of a reflection on how I'm feeling about my net worth this month. And honestly, I, I feel pleased in the sense that a thousand dollar growth is really good for this first month of me coming back from uh, not working over the summer and this first month of me actually having an income again. In general, this month, has felt kind of challenging for me with my finances and my budget not really related to these numbers at all but more related to the feelings i have had around them you might have noticed that i didn't post a budget update for september and that's for a lot of reasons one of them being that anytime i have an income that i'm not totally sure of like i'm estimating my income a bit which i was this september because i didn't know how much a normal paycheck was gonna be for me. I didn't know what that first paycheck, that was only half of one was gonna look like. Um, anytime I have an estimate, I feel so weird putting the numbers out there knowing that they'll probably change. It feels, you know, although it is really reflective of my planning process when it comes to my money and what my budget actually really does look like to me, it almost makes me feel dishonest, even like just cause I know that it's going to change. Um, even though it is an honest reflection of sort of what I'm estimating at the time. So there's that piece of it and also just the piece of I have gone over budget a lot this month and I sort of felt like I knew that was going to happen because there were so many expenses that came up with getting back to work again and having to buy things for my professional wardrobe, um, buy things for my classroom and just a lot of stuff has come up that's been important for me that I really wanted to get, like books, or uh, I had to register for a volleyball league that I'm really excited about doing with my older brother. So nothing that I really wanted to say no to, or even could justify saying no to, even when I was going over budget, but still has taken me over budget. And I guess I feel like I had some <laughs> premonition that that was going to happen before we even got into September. And so, I don't know, I just totally, anytime I'm busy, you know, with work and I'm overthinking my videos, it almost stops me from like creating at all. And so I think that's what was going on there. So to be honest, I feel like I'm in this weird space with my finances where like, I know everything's gonna be fine and I will be okay and I have a ton of money and savings I can always use if I need to, even if it's not what I had originally designated some of those savings for. But I feel like I'm not doing the best job right now and that makes me feel like I don't want to be filming these videos, which is kind of dumb obviously because everybody feels like this sometimes and it's important to see that. But yeah, I think that's why I'm feeling a little bit, like even before I was going to capture my net worth numbers this morning, I was a little bit hesitant to or worried about it. Um, Cause I just felt like the numbers would reflect, you know, my personal sense of missing the mark a little bit this month. That being said, they really didn't. They're exactly what I would have expected if I were to try to estimate it based on the patterns throughout the years that I've known. So I'm going to try to stay grounded in reality and remind myself that my feelings are not always the reality. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I'm think feeling about things unrelated to actually what the numbers are saying in my net worth at least. Anyways, long rant, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like it and comment on it and subscribe to my channel. I feel like I don't say that often enough, um, but I really, really appreciate the fact that you watched this far in and the fact that you're with me month to month looking at these numbers. 
celebrating wins and sharing my more complex feelings with me. So I thank you for that. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.